So, there's a common misconception that pit bulls are inherently violent and aggressive. When in reality, it's just the opposite. Most pit bulls that act in aggression, that anger, 9 out of 10 times was nurtured, not nature. You're more likely to be bitten by a chihuahua because those dogs are inherently temperamental. But because the news continues to talk about pit bulls in a negative way, people naturally start associating violence with the pit bull. When in reality, this dog is just a product of its environment. Any demonstrated aggression is most likely due to an abusive owner. Now, you could easily draw a parallel from the pit bull to the black man. For a very long time, the mainstream media has been telling the rest of the world that black people are inherently violent. And now, as a result, people have preconceived notions about black men that are, for the most part, not positive. In 1915, for example, Birth of a Nation came out. It was extremely popular for all the wrong reasons. It was responsible for the rise of the KKK and for a ton of the negative stereotypes we see associated with black people today. Now granted, modern day media is doing much a much better job, but ironically, black people continue to perpetuate these old negative stereotypes. And a lot of times, you know, I, I don't even think it's like a, a conscious thing. It's like on a subconscious level. So this is what the book Brainwash is about. It's about understanding why some black people still think like slaves. One of the things that Tom Burrell, the author of this book, said um, is that an effective brainwashing campaign allows the oppressor to withdraw much of their effort after a while because the victim eventually becomes the victimizer or the abused becomes the abuser. We in 2019, we as black people have taken over our own victimization. The purpose of this book is not to assign blame, but instead help readers understand the connection between where we are now and how we got there. To quote Tom, we cannot cure the symptoms without acknowledging the disease first.